Hey, it's Rick Czar. Today we're going to look at a Lego Master Builder Academy set. And this is one that's not the one that has all of the sets in one box like they have now. This is when you had to get the yearly subscription or whatever they called it and you'd get two or three or four or whatever uh, packages through the year. And so this is the third series, level three. And it is set 20206, The Lost Village, 229 pieces and a minifigure. And we are reviewing this at the request of YouTuber DJ Nick. DJ Nick asked if, or was wondering, let's see, what his comment was, I really want to see a review of set 20206, The Lost Village, but there isn't any on YouTube. And now there is. And because he asked for it, I'm going to build it. Actually, I've been wanting to do these other Master Builder Academy sets. And I just hadn't had time to get to them. And I'm just going to do this part of it. There are two other poly bags that go with this that I got later. Uh, that my son built. And we i got to find some of the parts. And we'll eventually do a review of those as well. And they connect up to this. So, this is a pretty small set. It comes in a great big box. Move the set out of the way. These are really nice boxes that uh, they come in. Like I think this is repackaged now in a bigger box. It has all three. I think there's three in level three. But this is kit seven. It's uh, level three. So yeah, there's three in each level. Level one had three. Level two had three. So first one in Level three is kit seven, the Lost Village Adventure Designer. And you get the little storing tray here. And basically, I think all of the other levels will fit in here. Uh, the other two levels for level, whatchamacallit, will fit in here once you get them. So these are real sturdy boxes. They're kind of like the Lego game boxes. It has... Um, and it shows you how you store your pieces in there. And then, if, yeah, Kit 8, Adventure Designer, The Ford and Forbidden Bridge, and The Dark Layer are the next two. All right, so let's look at the kit first. All right, it's pretty small. There's not a lot to it. It does look really neat, and this looks a lot better once you get the other two that go adjacent to it. This is kind of the centerpiece, I believe. Um, but it's got different building techniques they use they show you to give it kind of the um, that medieval look to it that's what I think but it's like it's kind of like a castle this lost village and it's got a lot of studs on the side there the back is kind of generic nothing going on much there Got these Technic pieces there. So it's just basically teaching you how to do certain building strategies. I think this part looks really good. I like the window using the one by one trans blue and trans clear bricks. You can see them back here. But yeah, there's not much. I mean, this is it's really a small set and for the price. It's really not that good a deal. Uh, these look good once you get all three of them, but uh, I think the these things go for about eighty dollars. I can't, I don't know what it is, but the minifigure is pretty neat. Let me show you. All right, here. here's the Master Builder Level Three. Yep, this a three on his logo there. He's got a frog-powered backpack. <laughs> um, so. I'm not sure what purpose the frogs serve on there, but a standard minifigure head, orange Master Builder Academy jumpsuit, and a frog backpack. Master Builder's Academy level three. So his backpack's a little heavy, so he don't like to stand up, lean him over <laughs> to get him. But that's all there is to that set now. Uh, the, the neat thing, let's put them back in the entrance here. 
looks like Anakin Skywalker when you put the, every time I see this now I always think of Anakin because of the pod racer set but this the the value in this is not necessarily the pieces it's the manuals which are really high quality books now this is what you're really paying for and it gives you an introduction to the designer of this set Nicholas Groves and he's got a message to you there and it just goes through uh, ideas behind the village uh, there's I don't know if some of the stuff I guess it's still online this NBA at legonba.com I've never actually even looked at it um, let me zoom out but when you get to the main model for this uh, particular set the lost village you build your minifigure then each step instead of just showing you the steps it shows you uh, the reason for those techniques and so if you when you're building it once you it helps you to learn strategies uh, things to think about when you're building so all, there's a lot of tips here so you don't just build it you build it and you read these tips and try to remember and then you incorporate these ideas when you make your own designs that's the whole idea of this it's not just stacking a bunch of bricks up you know when you're a kid and you're first learning sometimes you don't know even to do a simple thing like interlock your bricks but uh, this goes into a lot more detail than that um, and then when you get to the end of this one congrats you're done so you've built the lost village that's not all there's in here you got other ideas you got springboard models which it gives you other ideas of things that you can build and you even have some instructions for building those here's a door <laughs> not really exciting oh look i built a door it's more the strategy of building it you can build stairs what if i made a lego kit that was just that look i got some stairs <laughs> But, um, and then there's the drawbridge. I'm trying to figure out where that... There's a rock crystal in here that I didn't see in the instructions. Not sure where it goes. And then it shows you... So yeah, it's more medieval look here. With some of this stuff. So this crystal right there. Oh, I did not see it in the instructions. But it may give you one. I don't know. Maybe I missed it. I just didn't see it. It wasn't in the main model. But anyway, that is the Master Builder Academy. The Lost Village. It looks pretty cool. And my son actually had built this and had it displayed in his room for a long time. So this one's actually a little dusty. And the other two models were connected to it. He liked it a lot. Uh, so I think this is... To me, this is uh, one of the cooler uh, Master Builder Academies. I know the Steampunk one, that one was pretty good too. Um, if you like Steampunk, I'm just not a Steampunk person. I can really... I mean, it had a lot of neat details. But this one, I like Castle... So if you like Castle, this level three is the one you probably should get. Anyway, tell me what you think. And thank you, DJ Nick, for suggesting it. And please comment, like, and subscribe. And this is Brickzar.